guys, it's Donna and Kyla, and welcome to my Christmas countdown. So, even though this isn't specifically Christmas, I always feel like it's Christmas when my thread up boxes show up because it's a complete mystery what's inside. Yeah. So I thought I would still include this, yeah, on our Christmas countdown this month. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining us today and welcome. Please make sure you remember to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see so you can see all the new videos when they come out. Um, so ThreadUp has kind of been getting me through the last few months for my inventory. I still am not going to thrift stores. So I thought it would be great to look again to see. I've kind of sold through my other ThreadUp boxes and it's been a little while since I bought a new one. So I thought I'm going to go check and see what's available. I hope there's high heels. I hope so too. So she just gave you away what's in the box. So these are Thread Up Rescue shoes. And I'm so excited because it's been a few months since I've gotten a shoe box. If you're new to Thread Up Rescue, you'll know that the website is kind of hit and miss. You never kind of know what they're gonna post. I've bought women boxes, they have men's boxes, they have fun boxes, which I loved. I just bought a 100 pound box, and I've also done shoe boxes before, and shoe boxes are one of my favorite boxes. So this shoe box is $90, but it has 15 shoes in it. So they average out to about $6 a pair of shoes, which is really what I pay for it in my Goodwill anyway. The only thing is, is you don't know what you're getting. So we're kind of, it's kind of a mystery. We have no clue what brands they sent us. We don't know what the condition is, but most of the time they're not, at least- Home is not boot. Why? Boots would be great right now. But the green time. boots. But the... Yeah, the green boots were kind of gross in the last one we bought. <laughs> Alright, so let's not dilly-dally. Let's go ahead and dive in and yeah. see what they sent me. So I've been selling shoes on like eBay, Poshmark, places yeah. like that for years. It's one of my best sellers and they're so easy to list. You don't have to do measurements or sizes or anything like that. Um, so that's why I like them so much. And it seems like they have a high price point when you do sell them, especially some of the higher end brands. Um, the problem with some of the Thread Up Rescue ones is sometimes they don't have sizes in them. But I've even sold them without size tags. I just measure the bottoms of them and just indicate that in the uh, listing that I don't know what the size is and they still sell. All right, so here is the little invoice. So, yep, so $90, like I said, 15 pairs of shoes. It says, rip open the box, just not the clothes. Well, there's no clothes in here, hopefully. <laughs> These are all shoes, so we're gonna see. So let's see, Kyla, what they sent yeah. us. I love the tissue paper, too. Mom, I always mom, save mom, this mom, mom. so I can use it for my shipping. Mom. That's sweetie. Well, I got those out. So I kind of have mixed reviews already just looking at the box. I don't think you can kind of see in there. So that's the problem is there are flip-flops on top, which probably are not going to be good sellers. These are Havianas. Never heard of that before. They are in good condition though. So it doesn't mean I can't sell them. Um, doesn't look like they were used very hard, but I've never I heard like, of that brand I like, before. I like the inside of it. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments if you've heard of any of these brands because a lot of times they're new to me and I'm not sure what they are. All right, ooh, look at those, Kyla, they're fancy. Ooh. They're just Calvin Klein, so it's not a huge reseller, but they're in great condition. I don't see any scuffs on those in the I bottoms. Like, I like the bottoms. Okay, the bottoms look brand new. They don't even look like they've been used yet, so that is a really good sign. I don't know if these are original to the shoes, though, because they look like they're awkwardly placed right here. Um, so I just can't tell if that is part of the shoe or not, but we'll figure it out maybe when we get the other one out, if they're placed in the exact same spot. Yeah. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, these Ooh. are Ivanka Trumps. Now, I know that her handbags sell really well, but I'm not sure about the shoes. I didn't even know that she had shoes. But these are a cool um, lace up the ankle type shoe, and they're in good condition. They're blue suede, and it looks like the heels are in nice condition too. A little bit of wear there. And the bottoms have some scuffing and stuff on them, but overall, that one looks okay. And that one looks pretty good too. So I don't know, I don't know. Is, have you guys ever sold the Ivanka Trump shoes? I'm not quite sure on those. I know I've sold Donald Trump ties before, <laughs> but I don't know about those. Donald Trump well, ties? Cool. What are the, I know, it's silly, huh? Ooh. These are cute, but I can't tell what they say. Say chalets, okay, I've never heard of that before. It's S-E-Y, I doubt I'm gonna be able to get that on the camera, maybe. S-E-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E-S. -E -E but they're a cute wedge. Look at that. It's really cute with the they're striped like the material. Yeah, they're kind of like that. I like those, but I'm not sure about that brand. I've never heard of that before. Might need Ooh. some help, guys, on this one. Hmm, they're eight and a half, though, so that's good. All right, let's keep digging here, Kyla. Ooh, Toms. I'm happy about that. So these are you cute little Toms. Toms. I do love Toms. Um, and they're in pretty decent condition. There is some scratching Ooh, like, here on the leather, on the toe, 
but I've never seen that style before. But those are really nice. What size are those? I think they look too big for me. Oh yeah, these are size 11. They're way too big for me, but they're really nice. Mom, look at the bottom. I know. Okay, those are brand new as well. <laughs> Don't they look brand new? But they've got some the stuffing on the, the toes. Bottom. So gently used um, or they're mm -hmm. stored really roughly because they do have the scratches. So that's a little confusing. The scratches, but they're brand new on the bottom. Um, I like the bottom. Hmm. Maybe it's just from bottom. being stored or maybe they were displays. Hmm, I'm not really sure about that. All right, a pair of velvet shoes. Let's see. These are by Indigo Red, which is just an off brand. So that's not really very nice. But these are like a weird velvet loafer those are kind of ugly I don't know about those. um ooh, snake skin boots ooh. let's see what brand they are they are leather ooh made in portugal this is promising let's see here oh gosh i can't read the brand though let's get the other one out let's hope i can read the brand because these are nice i've never heard of them the second part of it says p-e-u-p-r-e -E. I don't know. Does that help anybody out there? Do you guys know what this is? I wonder if there's a style number or RN number. There is a number, so I'll probably do a Google on that. But they look like real snakeskin. So if I can figure out the brand on those, the toes are a little buggered up, you can see there, but the heels are in nice condition. Oh, this yeah, is it's really real snakeskin. Cool. Yeah, it's real leather. It's so like, I don't know. I just gotta figure out the brand on like, those, but I do like those. It's like really, really love snakeskin. Yeah. Snake I'm really hoping that these are Birkenstocks. Oh, they are. Birkenstocks are awesome, and these are in great condition. Okay, those will sell really well. I love that style too. Usually they're sandals, but this is a full shoe, so I think that probably will go for a higher price point. Um, let's just make sure the other one looks nice. Oh, they look really nice. Those are great. That's a good seller. This will definitely help make up the price of the box, so those are awesome. One time I went to a thrift store and I found a whole bunch of, they have a line called Papillo. I think I'm selling like Papillo or something like that. I found like six of them and sold them all for a really high price. So always be on the lookout for the Birkenstocks no matter what yeah. the style is. Oh my goodness, Ooh. Tory Burch flip-flops. Oh, what size are those? Okay, those I might have to keep for myself. <laughs> those are really nice. <gasps> Tory Burch, yay! Mom, yes, I sweetie. Like you like those? They're pretty. I like, I like the inside of They're them. They're in great condition too. I don't, can't tell what size they are, but very happy about I that. Like, I like that. The, the, the little um, the uh, logo on it. Yeah, and that's really pretty. And I love the golden. I like golden. You like golden? I, I'm sure you do. All right, these are. Oh, I think these are fry. Oh, they are. Why? <laughs> fry pair of. Oh my goodness, flats. Now they do have some wear on them, but I honestly think that's okay. Wow, I don't know if I've ever sold fry them. <laughs> I feel like I have, but I'm not quite sure. They're tiny though. They're a size four, which is really tiny, and maybe that's why they did not sell well. I can um, have those. A four is so I can small. Have those. <laughs> no, they're still too big for you. But actually, some women wear this size, but actually, kids wear this size. So if somebody wants to buy fry shoes for their kids, this would be a good Mom, you have option to, for them. You have to keep them for me when I get those back. Are nice. All right, here's the other velvet shoe to that one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. What do we have here? Okay, so these are just Alfani. These are an off-brand Step and Flex. I don't know if you can see that, but they're in really great condition. They look brand new again. A lot of these are, which is great. So if it's an off-brand, I hope it is looking brand new because that'll sell a little bit better, but it's a nice velvet yeah. material there. What kind of, ooh, I love this brand too. Oh no, maybe, oh, these are Newtons. This is a great brand. Okay, so we have, Sneakers, I thought they were pearly zoomies, but these are actually Newton tennis shoes, which are a very good brand of shoe. Mom. And those are in great condition as well. Like, I'm really happy so far. So these are men's actually size nine. So, oh, and they're actually women's 10 and a half as well. So they're neutral. So I was gonna say, um, ThreadUp doesn't sell men's clothing yet. So anything that goes to ThreadUp that's men's always ends up in a rescue box, unless the person wants it back because they don't sell men's on their website yet. Um, but these are in really great condition. Let's see if it says Entering Newton and they're the Boston version and they're both 10 and a half. It's great. Okay, I'm really excited about that. So I definitely know that I'm gonna make my money back. Now will we make any profit is the question. So these are Caslon. So I do know that these come in like our Stitch Fix boxes and Wantable boxes and things like that. So I don't know if it's just one of the um, boutique brands. 
um, but those are really different and unique <laughs> but it's like a suede top and like this really big wedge bottom sandal um, but again really good condition I so that's that. great here's the other shoe to that all right we got some more very happy about this Rothy's okay I've never found Rothy's either so I'm extremely happy about that oh my goodness these are supposedly washable but these are adorable what size are these yeah I would oh okay if these are my size I don't know I might have to try these on <laughs> those are really cute it's like a pale pink almost lilac type color but they're in really good condition they've got a little bit of dirt here and on the toe I like the pink Let's see what the other ones are oh those are really nice I like oh, the I'm pink. excited I about like the those. Pink. I like the pink. I don't know. I've heard that these can also be faked. Um, but what do you guys, if you know a lot about Rothy's, let me know if you think that these are real. That's the bottoms. These are the tops. Um, but they, they look pretty real to me as far as I know. So let me know. I don't know how to tell if they're counterfeit or not. Yeah. All right, a few more. I, so we've got I the like Calvin. The pink. Okay, we got the Calvin Klein. And then these are the pair of the other ones. These look like they were originally $75, the Alfani's, and then they were on sale for $37.50, so I'm just gonna take that tag out. But that's still promising, even if I can get $20 for those. And then I see a pair of boots down here. So let's see what the boots are. Oh, that's a nice pair of boots. These are, they don't have a brand on the bottom, but they look fairly new. Please tell me they're, <sighs> Laredo boots? These look like brand new. What in the world? That's a really good boot. And they look so gently used, like barely used at all. The, the heel maybe has a little, oh my goodness. This is a great boot. They're men's nine and a half Ds. So now whether, oh my goodness. I'm very excited about this box. And this one looks great too. Oh, that's so great. I'm so excited. So we're definitely going to make a lot of money. I will be sure to do like a month follow-up after I sell these boots. Um, any of the shoes. Sorry, not just the boots. I'm going to do a month follow-up video so you guys can see what exactly all sold. But what do you guys think? Have you guys done a shoe box recently or what did you guys get? What do you think about my box? Do you think I'm going to make my money back? Because I definitely think I will. So I'm super excited. This definitely made my Christmas month. What do you think? I'm glad I included it on my countdown. So Merry Christmas to me, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much. That's all I've got for you guys today. Please make sure that you like the video. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you can see all the new videos when they come up for the Christmas countdown. All right. See you guys next time. Happy selling.